What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So this coin is going to make so many millionaires. I feel like once people find where these lows actually are, I think it's going to be absolutely insane with the amount that this actually increases. So um, we're going to get into this. We're going to get into Harvest Finance today. Currently, it's at a low price to where I think it can actually uh, find a way to go a little bit lower. And I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for this. Even though I can't make the move that I wanted to make, um, I'm really, really excited for where this is going to go. So before we get started, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Let me know if you enjoy uh, these videos. If you like Harvest Finance, let me know about that, um, what you like about it. And um, if it's just the supply, it could be just the supply. Let me know. But anyways, um, I also wanted to throw a shout out guys, everybody that's a Patreon member. Thank you guys for being a Patreon, uh, member or whatever level you're at. I really appreciate it. Every single person. Uh, I do know there's a new person that, um, was just added, uh, to the Patreon. I just didn't have time to update the list. Uh, so next time I definitely will update the list and add the name in here before I even post these videos, you'll see it, um, updated. It just won't be updated on the screen because I don't do any editing to these videos. Anyways. That's one minute in. Let's go ahead and get into what Harvest Finance actually is at and what I tr will plan to do if I get to that point, uh, why I really haven't made a move yet. So let's go ahead and uh, quickly dive into this real quick. Um, so Harvest Finance right now is at $84. It's down 12%, $84. That is under $100, right? And you saw this recently over $400, right? This was up to a level of $300 consistently, like it was holding and, um, you know, going back and forth from 250 to 300, you know, finding a way to get up to four, 400 or so. Um, you can actually see that you're going to be able to not only double or triple your money, but quadruple your money um, from the point that it just got back to. And this is after you're seeing a lot of crypto pull back. So um, I, the reason why you see this pull back so heavy, right, is because you know, people may be getting out of the position. You have uh, institutions that are selling off certain like low percentage of crypto. And uh, this is the best time to make a move. Now, remember, all of this is not financial advice. I'm not going to tell you to absolutely get into it. I know what I'm going to do and what I want to do. But uh, if you follow any of my content, all of my streams, you're going to know that the reason why I haven't made an aggressive move into this yet is because they're catching me right at the freaking wrong time. Like it, it always does that. Absolutely the wrong time. I have money like all throughout the year, but then the one time I decide to do so much, which is the end of the year, December, you're buying uh, you know, a lot of Christmas gifts. I'm buying a car. Now we're buying two cars. So it's, it, it's to where I wanted to invest $5,000 into Farmcoin, and now I can't invest $5,000 into Farmcoin. Luckily, it didn't go through because then I would have had to sell it at that point, which would have been for a loss from where it was at 100. So because I need to uh, put that money towards the car and obviously I can get the generation of money coming in, but it, it's it's not about using the money that I already have in investments. It's about using the money um, that I'm getting in that's fresh. Now, I'm still trying to work through some things to try and get um, some things from other investments into here, and maybe I can make that move, but I'm I, I'm not sure right now. So we'll see how this all plays out because all of crypto is moving back together. So I don't really have one position that's increasing and other positions are decreasing. It's like everything that I'm holding is decreasing because crypto is falling back. So if that was the case, then I would have been moved some and probably had um, 60 or 70% of my investment, uh, in farm coin at the time. So anyways, right now it's at $84 and six cents. Why do my, why am I so bullish on this coin? Why do I believe it's going to make a move back up to where it was? Well, one, because of history, right? History really dictates uh, what the future will bring. Um, and two, the circulating supply. I mean, the circulating supply is inevitable. I mean, you see how much is actually out there. It's less than 1 million coins. You're looking at a total supply of 652,000 circulating supply, which when you have a lower supply, the smallest amount of coin movement actually increases the price a hell of a lot. So if people are holding this coin for a while, right now it's only seven days, people are holding this coin for a while, you're going to see this thing absolutely skyrocket. Currently, the market cap's at 54 million. That means that you can see this not only 10x from 100 million, you can see this 20x from uh, a level of 
uh, you know, if you're looking at that level of, of the average range. So the average range for a lot of these top cryptos, you're looking at 1 billion to, uh, you know, 10 billion. And if I'm just looking at a $1 billion market cap, you can see this uh, 20x, you know, get from 50 million all the way up to 1 billion would be a 20x, right? <clears throat> so that's abs absolutely huge. Uh, so right now, again, it's down 12%. It's at $84.53. I see this as a solid buy in my opinion. Now, currently what I am holding is uh, 40 coins, which is still a lot. This gets up to a level of 1,000, which is easy for it to get to. And I can break that down in a little bit. This gets up to a level of 1,000 and that's $40,000 that I would have off of maybe a $5,000 investment or so. It's a little bit over that, but about a $5,000 investment. So if I go into here and break down what farm actually could get to, so currently the price is actually at you know, 80, $84. $84. Um, we have been adding, I believe, some farm on. So let's go ahead and go back to here and see what the total circulating supply is here. So uh, 652, or let's say 653. Let's add that to the file. Uh, 653. 653. And that's what you're going to be looking at here. The total supply is 690, but let's go ahead and bring that down. So currently, if you just see this get to um, you know, a level of $2,000, $2,000 would equal $1.3 billion market cap. Can you say that that's absurd? That $1.3 billion market cap is absurd? It's not. $10,000. $10,000 can get to $6.5 uh, billion market cap. And then $15,000 would be at that level of $10 billion uh, market cap. Now, can this get to these levels? Yes. How long will it take to get to these levels? Who really knows? Now, if you're a person that's getting in at these levels and seeing this, um, you know, fluctuate and all of this, and you don't believe that it could make a move up there, I'm telling you, this is going to be one of those positions where once you see the bull run happen for crypto, people are going to be looking for things to buy with a low circulating supply, um, a lower market cap, something that has more potential that's on every single platform that you could possibly get. And Farmcoin is going to be one of those. I don't know how fast, if it will grow with everything just as fast, um, or if you'll see this skyrocket after the fact, it'll be one of those things that, that happens. It's more of like a delayed reaction. But right now, I think farm is a solid buy at $84. That is a solid buy. Let's go ahead and look really quick at what the history shows, because that's another point. History dictates what the future will bring. Look at this. We went down to about $70, $70, $90, increased all the way up to a level of $410, decreased down to a level of uh, 63, did find its way back up uh, to a level above 300. I think it was like 350. Yeah, 346. And then decreased all the way down to 40 or $50. Now, this did increase again up to uh, $438, which it did have a fast decrease all the way down to a level of 280, uh, decreased down down to uh, 270 there and then increase back up to 301. After that, it started to decrease and you started to see a slower moving decrease here. Once you get to a certain level, you're currently at 84. Who knows how low that will go? Will it be something where it's a, it creates lower lows? That's a possibility. And I'm really hyped to see what this actually could be because in the beginning, $30,000, just imagine if whatever you're holding got to $30,000 per coin, per coin, right? That is huge. And I would love to hold 100, which at these prices, I think is definitely possible to hold 100 coins here. So again, I, I just wish that the stock market was making a positive move and I could pull some of my positions out of the stock market to put it into Farmcoin and actually have a massive amount in Farmcoin. I wanna hold 100 coins because I feel like this is gonna go to uh, $10,000 easily and I'll pocket an easy $1 million. Obviously I have taxes I would have to pay, but I think it go well. It can go a lot further than that, uh, depending on how popular this gets and all of that, because crypto is based on popularity. So here we go. I think um, the uh, past will dictate what future will bring. So I think we'll we'll see this go up to a level, you know, of you know four hundred, five hundred dollars sometime soon. Uh, but I don't know how low this is actually going to go. But if it does find a way to get to forty or fifty. That is a, a definite solid buy. Like there's no way that I'm not buying a bunch of that uh, at those levels. I would love to hold 100. And again, 100 would be somewhere around what that $5,000 uh, mark or $4,000 mark, whatever it actually could get to. Anyways, 
that's what I'm looking at here. You can see the volume has increased over the last 24 hours, looking at 12.1 million. Just wait, just wait. I don't know if you guys agree with me. Make sure you guys hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about Farmcoin. If you have any other positions that you think will make a move before, uh, uh, before that, let me know. Uh, also, I want to throw a shout out to all the Patreon members. Thank you guys for being uh, a member and supporting me uh, every single month. I really appreciate it. But I'm going to get out of here and I will catch you guys in the next video.